Hey, what's up guys? My name is Alone and today I want to talk about Symmetra on King of the Hill. Now, I placed after my placement games at 3512, which is just in the Masters, but because my MMR is higher after the placements, I quickly climbed up to my current SR, which is 3774. I think that's where I ended my last game on. So, I'm mid-Masters right now, like just above mid-Masters, and I've been playing a ton of Symmetra and that's kind of my best character. So, basically I want to talk about Symmetra on King of the Hill, which is the probably one of the hardest points for Symmetra. Like, Attack Symmetra is not even that hard at points. Like, Attack Symmetra can be super, super effective uh, on multiple maps. But on King of the Hill, I would say she is probably the worst unless you have a good team. So, if you have a bad team on attack, for example, Hollywood, you can absolutely carry with your shield generator and just flank the healers and just go in ham uh, or your teleporter behind the enemy team and just get your whole team behind them and flank. But on King of the Hill, you can't really do that because you can't put a flank TP on King of the Hill without being noticed. You know, if you go in, the whole enemy team is just defending the choke. You can't really do that. Your shield generator is very easy for the enemy team to just push in and kill and also it's as I said very hard for you to sneak behind um, sorry for the bottleneck annotation uh, it's very short, uh, hard for you as a Symmetra to push in alone and get behind them and flank the healers in a king of the hill map which is what Symmetra is really really good at so basically what you want to do on king of the hill to be effective is get the point once and after that secure an area and I want to talk about that in just a second but basically what you want to start the game off by doing is get a good team comp obviously with a Lucio preferred it makes it very much easier for you to play Symmetra because you just move faster and you can easily get to targets and be them down and also you're harder to hit because your figure is kind of slim but otherwise uh, you want to go in and just get your ult as fast as possible but mostly just help your team in the first team fight and try to win that team fight the first team fights or every single team fight really when you don't have the point yet is really essential to win because if you win that you can set up close to the point or on the point and then it's going to be very hard for the enemy team to actually push in and get the point because there's going to be so many turrets all over the place and that is the time when you can start flanking the healers when the enemy team pushes in on you then you can go behind them and flank the healers when they do that so that's why she's actually very good when you do get the point but before that it's very hard so basically um, what you want to do is you can set up on the point when you do get it but it's not that great from experience because what they do is they just rush into the point and then your six turrets are going to die instantly because uh, all the six enemy players are just rushing in and sure some of them will get one turret shooting on them some will get two turrets shooting on them but it's not enough to actually kill them or do any significant damage without you know they have probably a winston on king of the hill just gonna laser them all down so what I like to do is secure a point close to the point. So for example, on Ilios, for example, you can uh, try to set up on the point on the uh, the ruins one where Widow is really good. You can try to set up on the point, but ultimately, as I said, you're just going to rush it down and destroy all the turrets. But what I like to do is you can put the turrets up on the high pillars all around the place and it's going to be harder for them to actually kill them reliably because Winston can't be all over the place and you know they're high up so he has to look up as well and also you can try to secure the left health pack the mega beside the points and just put a lot of turrets around that so when they go for it they will just die instantly because there's so many turrets there or for example on um, the map you're seeing the gameplay of in the background which I can't remember the name of I think it's Nepal that's what it is and um, you can secure the stables left of the point and if they go in there try to get the health pack or you put your shield generator in that stables and then put a bunch of turrets around that area they first need to go for that area to try to kill your shield generator and maybe you as well because you're standing and defending it and then your whole team can just collapse on them in that small area by using for example a graviton or anything like that because the enemy team is going to be so stacked just going into that room focusing down the shield generator and if one player only goes into that point and tries oh like i can deal with this i can just get the shield generator on my own they're going to die because there's going to be so many turrets in there and put them in the roof and all that so they have to look up 
to kill your turrets and that gives you a chance as well at not being hit by a Winston, for example, lasering you down and the turrets. So overall, just try to secure one area of the map and force them to go to that point by putting, for example, a teleporter there or a shield generator that they need to focus before the fight to actually be able to win the fight reliably. Because if you have a good team, or a decent team at least, a shield generator is probably going to give you the edge to always win the team fights unless the enemy team is using all their ultimates and then the next time you have all your ultimates, so it's all good. So the point where you have to swap Symmetra is if you cannot get the point once, you just realize I'm just getting rolled, all my teammates are getting rolled, we're just getting spawn camped, or you know, every time you go in, you just get destroyed by a Pharah shooting into a choke or whatever. Then yeah, if you can't get the point once and you realize it's not going to happen, yes, you need to swap the Symmetra. And if you do get the point once from a team fight in the beginning, and then after that, you just uh, get instantly rolled and they kill your TP and all your turrets and everything and you had no chance then yes the enemy team is too smart and they will just go for you every time and destroy everything and your team is not backing you up enough or for example you have bad positioning or you just realize that the enemy team as I said is very good at just shutting you down then yes you need to swap and uh, you have to realize that you can't just always play Symmetra and on King of the Hill she can't really solo carry. She can carry from the point where you have the point once, as I said. After that, uh, before that, it's very, very hard to do anything useful at all as Symmetra. So keep that in mind. And if you can't get the point, just swap. And yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about Symmetra on King of the Hill. If you want to see more of my videos, then go check out my channel and subscribe if you want to see when I post videos. And also like the video if you liked it and all that jazz. And I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.